you doing there? And welcome to my vlog. And this one's this one's Chrysler. Well, just the, the Chrysler Sabring. My daughter's 03 or 04 Chrysler Sabring. Uh, the video before this was the fact that it had a cracked thermostat housing. Well, I've just bought a brand new one. It runs about 20, about 21, 22 bucks, and I've now installed it. Well, come to find out, not only was that cracked, but if you look down in here, you can see I got steam coming out. And I've also got antifreeze leaking underneath. That's telling me I got a, we got a cracked radiator as well. So stay tuned for that little evolution. Hey, Denny here, and welcome to my vlog. And if you've been following me, I've been working on the Chrysler Sabring. I changed the thermostat housing the other day because it was cracked and leaking. And now all of a sudden we have a radiator that's cracked and leaking where the top, where your upper uh, heater hose connects. So I'm going to show you what, what it takes to change that. All right, here we go. You got, uh, you got, you got bolts that are holding this front assembly in place and I believe they're 13s yep they're 13s so we're gonna bust these loose real quick okay all right you got your you got two one right here one right here those are 10 millimeter and then you got your pull poppets for your front thing that clears that clears this piece here Looks like get a big one here. Oop, that one's flying. And this uh, attached to your air box. Okay, next you got your nuts that attach your uh, hood hood latch assembly. And then now this whole thing will fall forward. Alright, next you actually got the, the cable that attaches right here and then you've got these other little um, plastic braces or whatever and those are also got push push pull these these little push pull things here you get this little thing here I could use a you can use a, scr a screwdriver and play with it and then everything's right here this will just yep come right off all right, all right. There you go. Now you now the radiator is exposed. We're gonna have to we gotta pull the fan fan assembly off of it after we after we do that. Get little brackets holding your radiator or the uh, your front uh, condenser in place. Okay, with that. At that point I got the top radiator hose off and right here I'm in good shape because the lower part of this um, bumper shield is gone so there's a valve right there open that up and then let your uh, antifreeze drain out here's where we are I've got to get the that front condenser off of the radiator before I can change it I've also got to remove the fan, the fan assembly, and you got a total of four bolts that are holding the fan assembly to the radiator. They're 10 millimeter or they're star. Well, I miss getting down in there to get these puppies, puppies loose because you got to pull it. You got you got another bolt that holds the condenser on the front of the radiator so you got to get that out of the way so you can pull the radiator out and then put radiator back in and then bolt the condenser back to the radiator so that's where I'm at you got four bolts on each uh, two bolts on each side of the radiator right. I was able to get the two bolts on this side off of the fan fan assembly but I got one down in the bottom there that's so rusted out 
I can't keep the tent on it. And I got a star and I've stripped it out, so now I can't get the star on it. So now I gotta use other measures. Mm. All right, success. I used the, the longer, longer ratchet to get down below that. I got that loose. That was my whole, that was the whole reason for pulling, pulling the fan was so I could push it back far enough to get on the, the bolts that hold that in. So I got that. Now I should be able to yank this right out. Make sure you disconnect your, your plug to your fan assembly. And then you should be, able to just, should be able to just pull this right out now. All right, that was perfect. I was able to yank that, yank that right out. That's sitting over here, and I can give you a good view. Bolt right here, that's my pain in my butt bolt there. And that one there, and that one there. It'll come back off, and then they'll bolt right up to the other one. All right, well, my pain in, pain in the ass is complete. Unfortunately, that broke off. That one broke off on that side, and this one broke off. Where did it? No. Yeah, just had the one break off. All out. right, now you has got to remember, you got these little rubber booties, or inserts, and... They may still be in the in the assembly down there. So you're gonna have a hard time putting that one in there if you got this one still. Now I got a slight attached. dilemma because the bottom of the bottom of this thing is bent out, so I can't get it to go flush with the radiator. It's putting pressure on it, so I can't put the bolts Next in thing, the bottom. Next thing you gotta get your condenser hooked in your little hooks on both sides and lined up so you can bolt them. All right, next thing I did, I got those bolts to hold the the uh, fan assembly back on there. Trying to plug here. I to get some sort of little plug for that. I'll plug this back in here. Okay, click, you're good. Secure that and that and that. Then we get the, the water lines back on. Okay, all my water lines are installed. Next thing, let's get the top assembly back on here and get it locked down. Okay. Care of that, those are 13s. I'm missing. So I'm not, where are you? All right, got the little plugs. What the heck's going on? Huh. Oof. All right, you got the uh, little bolts there that hold your hood, hood lock down assembly there. Make sure you line your you wash yours up with the original marks that are on that, because it'll be hard for that. It'll be winding up adjusting that darn thing. Now I gotta get the get the little push push pins in here. Okay, don't forget your, your little air cleaner on here and that uh, push button assembly there back in place. Looks like we're good. Got all those in place. Now let's get the radiator refilled. All right. But fortunately, the ba uh, my battery died on this thing, so here we are. We're all back, back together where it should be. Uh, all your bolts and your uh, latch, latch assembly, and all re, all refilled. We ran it for a little while, let it let it heat up, now let it shut down. And. Here's your little bleeder screw. Make sure you bleed all the air out of it. And just cool down and make sure the reservoir was up there. And uh, we're we'll make sure that by squeezing it, you'll make sure that this um, your filler tube is uh, is full. So when it 
drains down or whatever, it'll suck the antifreeze back out of it. But there we go. Um, close this one out. It's been a bear. And uh, most everything that I do is a bear. <laughs> All right. So thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to leave some comments and say hi. And we'll catch you on the next Project Chrysler. Oh, <laughs>